Thanks everyone for joining us. I'm Robert Pyle of Diversified Asset Management. We've been working with small business owners for the last 24 years, helping them create a long lasting, sustainable retirement so they can spend more time with their families and enjoy the outdoors. Today we'll be discussing cash balance and defined benefit plans, and specifically how you can put them to use for your high income professional practices, and small business owners. These slides were provided by Dedicated Defined Benefit Services, one of our resource partners. After today's session, you will know more about cash balance and defined benefit plans than you ever wanted to know. You'll have the knowledge to look for the type of situations so you can show your clients how to save even more money on their taxes. You want to acknowledge that your clients are reducing their taxes. You want to use the words even more, which will tell them that they are doing something to save money on taxes. You will know how to approach your clients to implement a plan and generate even more revenue for your firm. You'll feel more comfortable with how cash balance plans and defined benefit plans work. Here's our disclosure. Here's our agenda. We'll cover the advantages of defined benefit plans by comparing them to the generally more familiar defined contribution plans. Then we'll take an even more detailed look at cash balance plans in terms of how they work, who the ideal clients might be, and what you need to keep in mind when introducing these plans to your client. We'll walk through the process necessary to open the plans and we'll leave time to answer your questions. You're all familiar with some retirement plans for small businesses. Most of the time, you're probably talking about defined contribution plans, such as IRA, SEP, Simple, or 401k. These are all defined contribution plans because the IRS defines what the contribution limits are based on earned compensation. Sometimes age is taken into account, for example, with the catch-up provision for the 401k. With defined benefit plans, which include traditional defined benefit and cash balance plans, the IRS defines the benefit limits. These plans are designed to allow business owners to accumulate sufficient assets to pay a desired benefit in retirement. As a result, the owner has the potential to make large contributions each year. The amount depends on their age and their earned income but generally, the older the client, the more they can contribute. What actually happens at the end of the plan's life is, instead of paying the benefit, the big accumulation of assets is rolled into an IRA, continuing to grow tax deferred until withdrawn. This will allow the client to maintain control of their money and pay taxes on their own terms. This chart focuses on why DB plans are so attractive. The gray and the blue bars show D defined contribution plans that most of the general public is focused on. For someone age 52 earning 285,000, the simple IRA contribution is about 25,000, SEP 57,000, 401k 63,500 for someone who's age 52 earning 285,000. The red bars show the contribution power of, of a DB plan with about 202,000 in contributions. And with what a DB plan paired with a 401k can do for the client, over 245,000 for a person with the same age and earnings, age 52 and 285,000. In DB plans, age, income, and the actuarial calculations are used to drive larger contributions. Often DB contributions are two to four times what someone can defer in a SEP or a 401k. While traditional DB and cash balance plans are each a type of defined benefit plan, they provide a solution for a different client situation. A traditional defined benefit plan can be the perfect fit for an owner only or an owner spouse or other family member businesses enabling them to put away up to six figures depending on earned income, way more than they can put away in a DC plan. 
It also works for self-employment side income such as board of director fees. A cash balance plan paired with a Safe Harbor 401k profit sharing achieves the same high contributions for the owners or partners and still provides for employee participation. It provides an opportunity to minimize contributions for employees while still maximizing them for the owners. If a client has rank and file employees, this paired cash balance and 401k profit sharing pl plan is what we recommend. Employee costs can be limited and are more predictable. While fees are lower in the traditional DB plan, the savings is generally more than made out with the lower employee contributions in the cash balance and safe harbor 401k plan combination. The plan can be designed to meet your client's objectives. Let's take a look at our first prototypical client. Dr. Charles is age 52, a sole proprietor with the annual earnings of 500,000 after he's paid self-employment tax. Dr. Charles may have other earnings, for example, rental income, investment income, but only his earned income for the purposes of calculating his contribution to a defined benefit or qualified plan is used. In this example, Dr. Charles can contribute $244,383 to a defined benefit in a 401k plan. Assuming a combined state and federal rate of 37%, Dr. Charles would defer over 90,000 in income taxes. Essentially, he's transferred money what would otherwise be paying in taxes into his retirement account to grow tax deferred. In 10 years, Dr. Charles will have about 2.78 million in his defined benefit plan account. The final amount that will be in his 401k is uncertain but Dr. Charles will be maximizing his 401k contribution each year. In this example, Paul and Mary are equal partners in a two-person C corporation. They each earn 285,000 in W-2 income, 270,000 total. Paul and Mary may be CPAs, management consultants, physicians, or real estate brokers. Consider the types of professions of your own self-employed and small business clients. They both want to retire in five years when Paul is age 65 and Mary 63. In 2019, Paul could contribute $229,500 and Mary $239,200. Their total contribution, $458,700. Assuming that they pay a combined federal and state tax of rate of 37%, their tax savings would be over 169000 In five years, when they terminate the defined benefit plan, they may be able to accumulate over an estimated $2.6 million. Now we're going to talk about cash balance plans. A cash balance plan is typically paired with a Safe Harbor 401k profit sharing plan. If you want to learn more about traditional defined benefit plans, we would ha be happy to have a separate conversation with you. Just give us a call. The cash balance plan potentially can provide large deductible contributions called pay credits for business owners, very similar to traditional DB plans. Contributions are calculated based on age, compensation, and years of participation. The owner can set different classes and contribution levels for employee groups, thus limiting and controlling the cost of employee benefits. As a result, the contributions are maximized for business owners and minimized for employees. The reason we're able to do and pass IRS compliance testing is because the Safe Harbor Profit Sharing Plan is paired with a cash balance plan. Now let's look at a typical doctor's or dentist's office. We see there are four employees and their respective ages and salaries. Their ages range from 25 to 30, and their salaries range from 20,000 to 39,000. Dr. Smith is 62 and making 280,000. If the participants want, they can make salary deferral contributions, but none are shown here. The plan sponsor, employer, is responsible for contributing on behalf of their employees to the Safe Harbor 401k profit sharing plan and the cash balance plan. 
Because the owner is already 62, the plan is designed with a retirement age of 67, which applies to all participants and which would give the plan a five-year term. The extremely high contributions for the owner are the maximum. Of course, the plan can be designed with a lower contribution amount. Cash balance plans can be efficient because the percent of money going to the owner is high. In this example, it's around 97%. These plans generally work more favorably when owners are older than the employees. You want an older employer and younger employees because the older age creates a larger contribution for the employer. In a few slides, we'll show you what happens if the owner is only 45. Let's go over the numbers. The owner is making $280,000 in a corporation, is able to contribute just over $300,000 and $330,000 if you include the 401k plan for him or her, while contributing just $10,670 for all the other participants. So 97% of the contribution is for the owner. As you can see, the tax savings is huge, estimated at over 125,000, which is the primary reason your clients will love this program. This slide shows the same participants and compensation, but with Dr. Smith now much younger at age 45. As you can see, the owner can now only contribute 141,000 or about 161,000, including the 401k, about half of what the older owner could contribute, but still three times what they could do in a 401k or SEP. Here again, the vast amount of the contribution is for the owner at 95%. Both of these examples work because the employees are so young. If their employees were as old or older than the owner, employee benefits would be much more expensive and some owners may not want to fund the plan. So keep in mind, the owner's age is a big factor for all defined benefit plans, including cash balance plans. Here's another example. The key point is the flexibility that a cash balance plan can create for these high income earners. For example, we have four law partners of different ages and income. Their pay credit or contribution is based on their own personal cash flow needs. Dana is age 52, 280K of compensation, but wants to save 25% of his or her income. Corey is 58, 280K of compensation, wants to save 170K. Abby is 51, 183K of income, wants to save more than 50% of her income. Kate is 42. 280k of income, but can only save 35k. If there are no other employees, as in this case, they don't need a safe harbor 401k profit sharing plan. Here's a scenario where the cash balance plan doesn't work for the owner. In this example, the owner is age 44 and taking a small W-2 income from the corporation of 63k. Employees range in age from 30 to 42 and salary from 18k to 41k. Even though we can give him a large contributions, his employee retirement costs are also high. He is sim in similar in age to some of his employees. He's able to contribute about 60k, but he has to contribute over 25k for his employees. The owner only gets 76%. If the owner was older or if he took a larger salary, this example would be more attractive. Let's look at Susan, age 56, and is a professor. In addition to her university salary, Susan has self-employment income from consulting and serving on two boards. And we're going to switch a little topics here. What happens if Susan inherits a $1 million IRA from their parents? They have, she would have estimated withdrawals of 120 to 140,000 per year for 10 years. This major increase in her tax bracket would make a DB plan attractive for her because between age 57 and 67, she'd be subject to required minimum distributions on that inherited IRA due to the new tax law change. Here's the solution. 
For the purposes of calculating the defined benefit contribution, Susan's university salary is irrelevant. She's an employee fully participating in her 403B and other employee benefits available to her too. She can add on a 457 plan too. She does have 150,000 of board income, which she does not need to use to support her lifestyle. 80% of the 150,000 after the payment of self-employment tax can be contributed to the DB plan. This can net out the extra income she's subject to from the inherited IRA, making her tax situation approximately the same as before. Eligible compensation comes down to earned income and what it is for each business structure. For a corporation, the source of income is W-2 income and they use W-2 income to calculate the compensation for a plan. For an S corporation, the source of income is W-2 income plus Schedule K-1 distributions. And they use W-2 income only to calculate the compensation for the plan. For a sole proprietor, the source of income is Schedule C net profit, and they do an earned income calculation to calculate the compensation for the plan. For a partnership, the source of income is Schedule K-1 net profit, and they do an earned income calculation to calculate the compensation for the plan. For example, if a client earned $5 million in rental income, that income isn't eligible compensation. If W-2 earnings are kept low to avoid payroll tax, the owner needs to bonus themselves W-2 income at the end of the year to increase eligible compensation for the plan. Investments for the cash balance plan and 401k plans. For the cash balance plan, the majority of the assets will be in the cash balance plan. Investments in the cash balance plan are pooled. Each participant has a hypothetical account that earns an interest credit annually irrespective of actual investment performance. The plan sponsor is the business owner and the trustee and has the responsibility for managing the investments. They can hire an advisor. Typically use an open platform, any equities, bonds, or funds, etc. You want to have non-volatile instruments that aim to achieve a 3 to 5% rate of return. The 401k, you're going to have separate accounts and the Participants are going to be choosing their own investments in those 401k accounts. What happens if the client's investment isn't returning the required amount? If the client's investments achieve more or less than the interest credit rate, the required contribution will decrease or increase to keep the plan on track. And we'll talk about this more later. Types of investments, what works for a 401k or SEP works for the DB and cash balance plan. Again, investment strategy, stability, you want consistent returns, not high risk or high returns. Having stable investment returns ensure consistent annual contributions. The actuaries assume a modest rate of return to match the plan's assumed rate of return so the client can enjoy consistent tax deductions. Let's talk about an example. Let's say the economy is doing really well. Typically, the market does really well. Not always the case. So the revenue for the client is going to be high. Or well, if they have aggressive investments in the cash balance plan, the return is going to be higher. So their contribution is going to be lower. If the market or the economy is not doing well, the client's revenue is going to be lower. They're going to have less cash flow. So they're going to have to make a larger contribution kind of the opposite of what you want. That's why you want to have stable investments in the cash balance plan. Resource provider, uh, dedicated defined benefit services, retirement plan consultants, Newport Group, NIHART, Alaris, those are all providers that you can use. How can you be a hero for your client? Clients tell me they want solutions to reduce their taxes. You want to acknowledge that they are saving and tell them you have a solution where they can save even more on their taxes. One of the questions I have for you as an accounting professional is can you charge for the analysis? 
we can run the proposal. You won't have to do anything. You just need a census from the client. One of the things that may come up is, let's say somebody has 125,000 in W-2 income, and they're taking out 125,000 in distributions. But they need those distributions to live on. Well, let's say we did a calculation and they could put 100,000 in a DB or a cash balance plan. But to do so, they would have to give up 100,000 of distributions, put it in the DB or cash balance, balance plan. Well, maybe you can look at their taxable account to see how much they have in it. You have all of their tax information. Add up all of the dividends, multiply by 50. That's how much they have in their taxable account. They could live off the 100K from their taxable account and defer 100K from their corporation and get a deduction. That's one solution. Here it is spelled out of how to do the, the contribution. Take down the distributions from 125K to 25K, 100,000 going to the cash balance plan, taxable account dividends times 50, take 100,000 from the taxable account. Here are the strategy and fees. The CPA needs to identify ideal clients. They can get the census info. You can send us the information. We'll run a proposal. If the client and you sign off, we can open a plan. The fees for the DB plan are all in the two to three K and maybe three to four K for the cash balance plan. And zero to two K to set up the 401k plan and annual fees plus investment advisory fees. If you have any questions, give us a call or send us an email. I want to tell you about a couple success stories. Back in 2007, I had a self-employed client and their spouse was a corporate executive. They came to me and they said they want to save the maximum in a retirement plan. The maximum means different things to different people. In this case, they wanted to save a lot. We set up a DB plan for the self-employed spouse. This started in 2007. They contributed 100,000 a year for seven years. In addition, we set up a Roth 401k. They contributed the maximum for three years. The corporate executive spouse was maxing out their 401k plan at their job each year for those seven years. We terminated the DB plan, rolled over the money to the IRA and the Roth IRA respectively, and now they're able to enjoy the optional retirement. I had another self-employed client, family business. They had a big income year. They wanted to mitigate the taxes. We set up a DB plan and a 401k plan. Each year they'd been putting in $100,000 or so into the DB plan and around the maximum in the 401k plan about 50 to 52k a year. So those are a couple examples where they're able to save a lot of money. Here's our contact information. If you have any questions, give us a call or send us an email. Thank you for your time today.